Hi everyone, so um, in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly what I'm going to be doing for the 100 day project. Um, I did think about journaling but I don't want that pressure because 100 days is a long long time to be consistent and to, you know to oh, just it's just pressure <laughs> and I don't want to put pressure on something like that. Um, and when I say journaling, I'm talking about journaling in my traveller's notebook and, and writing every day. It's going to be part of my ritual anyway, um, but still I just don't want to have, have that kind of pressure. So I still wanted to take part in the 100 day project purely because I wanted that discipline in my life. And it was just a, um, a matter of finding where to channel that dis discipline. Uh, I definitely knew I wanted to do some form of art. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway. What I decided on doing is, um, as the title might have given it away already, is to journal every single day, not writing journaling, but do a page every day in my uh, micro, what would you call it, mini tiny TN. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to be showing you uh, exactly the things or all the things that I've got together for this project. Okay, first of all, I've got this little tiny box. It's £1.50 in the works and it fits everything nicely in here. Um, it's, you can get lots of different sizes and styles. There's a lattice top as well, so you can see into the box. But I wanted to decoupage this, so um, I've got these sort of brightly coloured pieces of um, all these papers, collage papers, and I thought that I could maybe use those. I'm not sure yet so um, I'll probably do, be doing a video on that one. Okay so that's my box. Okay the first, I have two mini TNs. The first one is this, should, should I zoom in a bit more actually, is this one. Now this is from AliExpress and we got them from, well we got it from the Big Me and they got them from uh, AliExpress and it is the most, oh, what would you call it, acknowledged or accepted size. I think it's three inches by, oh, I don't know where my ruler is, um, oh I don't know, three inches by something anyway. So that's the more accepted size um, for a tiny traveller's notebook. And I did already, oh no it's not in this one, um, I am going to be making inserts for these as well. Um, and that'll be another video and I, and I do plan on uploading videos um, of flip throughs and to also post my pages on over on Instagram as well. So that's the first TM. The second one I keep in this tiny little OXO cube vintage tin and this one, I don't think you could fit that one in there could you? Oh you could, actually yeah you could. Yeah, just, oh, that's really cool. Anyway, it's going in there, so. Unless, actually, I could swap over, so whichever one I'm using. I don't know. Anyway, this one's smaller, if that's possible. It's narrower and a tiny bit shorter. Um, and this was made for me um, by a lovely lady over at Ink Smudge Journals. And she made, because I, she, um, she made this for me when I purchased a traveller's notebook from her and I have already um, done some watercolour in here because this is a watercolour insert uh, so I'll be definitely using that one. Um, I, I will be making a cardi paper, that's a rag, cotton rag paper uh, for this size. Um, again that will be in another video. Um, so they're my micro mini tiny traveller's notebooks in there. Okay, um, oh God, I can't wait to show you this. This is so, so, so cute. Right, so I have my tubes of uh, Daniel Smith watercolours. I forgot to show you what I'm going to be doing with these. I'm so excited. Look at this. It's a tiny, tiny watercolour tin. It's so cute. Oh, look at it. So, what I want to do is I'm going to be taking these chalk paints out off camera because, <laughs> um, let's see, uh, maybe I could try one now. Uh, 
I have a tool somewhere that it's like a pokey tool thing. I can never remember the name of it. I did have it in here somewhere. Ah. Okay. I've got what else can I use? I'll be gutted about that because I could use that. Um I'm not sure how easily these will come out. Oh, I don't want to bend this needle. I re oh, here you go, here you go, yes! Okay, so you just have to sort of leverage them. Yeah. Let's make sure I was properly zoomed in. Oh yeah, that's so cool. I didn't really want to um, break them up, because if there was a way to get them out without... See, this one's crumbled quite a bit. Oh, hang on. They're glued down. So I will need to, oh blimey, I will need to wash this palette out before I put my paints in. Um, I might just do that now. I might put you on pause, but it'll just be a cut jump really for you. And, um, oh! <laughs> yeah. So I have another video coming up of another mini watercolour set but I'm waiting for something to arrive and that will, what day are we on now? So it will either arrive tomorrow or sometime early next week. Um, so yeah, once that arrives I'm going to be doing another video and I don't want to give too much away because it's so cool. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is the mi mi micro mini travellers, oh sorry my brain is all over the Right, mini watercolour. So that can go in there. That can go in there. I could only, I only really need one at a time, so that can go back in its tin. Like that. I have another watercolour set, which I will... That's another video. And then I'll be making um, tiny inserts with different papers. Uh, that's another video. <laughs> um, and, yeah, so this is my sort of like little setup. I'll have a little mini watercolour brush as well possibly. It depends on whether or not I'll need it because I'm only going to be using these really sort of finely, these small tiny brushes. These. So yeah. Um, so I'm in two minds because I don't know if I'll use it. That actually, that said, I could get one because um, I will be taking this everywhere with me really because it being 100 days there are going to be days where it's going to be really difficult um I might be somewhere I might be away so while I'm away that's the reason for this box I can store everything in here see there's this brush but it's not going to be any good at all so I do need to get um perhaps I'll just take that out for now so I can wash this but yeah let me just pause you here anyway uh, and I will come back to you in a second okay so Got my little tin, uh, and I washed it out best that I could. Um, got all my colours together that I know that I will use. Bear in mind, this is a bit of fun. So um, these are the only colours, the only Daniel Smith colours I've got. So I decided that rather than choose one a palette where I could mix all the colours and mix certain colours and get all the colours that I needed, um, I would just put all the colours I know I will use. Um, because if I am away, I do have another watercolour set which I would probably be taking away with me anyway. So um, I just put all my favourite colours um, in here. Just balance that on there like that. So I'll speed it up. Um, let's have a look. That one, that one. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's eight. Right, let's just go with these. I'm just going to go with it. So I'll just speed it up. Thank you. 
to maybe do a little colour swatch so I know which colours are which but I've actually cut this tube and I'm going to get out the rest of this pink um, and pop it in there. It's the opera pink um, so there will be some left in there so I can just scrape it out. Um, I will leave these to settle and to dry and um, they will sink down a little bit as they dry out but yeah there is my tiny tiny um, watercolour kit. So so cute. So yeah, um, that's me for the 100 day project. Um, see, look, I get paint all over me. Oh, it's unbelievable. Um, so I will do some more videos, obviously, on this theme. Um, let me know if you're taking part and what you're doing for your 100 day project. Um, and maybe if you have a YouTube channel, link it below, because um, I would love to check, check it out. Um, I really need some more uh, YouTube tubers to follow because um, I'm, I'm quite limited. I found that there isn't as much at the minute. Um, so yeah, if you do have a YouTube channel, pop it below and I'll check it out. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and until the next one, take care. Bye.